the great MC Roxanne Shante, who is in your documentary, she said that um, when she was watching Video Music Box, she saw herself and she was talking about representation. And it's crazy that even in the 1980s, that was still something that we were really dealing with. You talked about not seeing representation in television, you know, as well as a kid. Um, so can you talk to me a little bit about 1983? This is when you launch Video Music Box. And I'd love if you could just sort of paint a picture for us of what 1983 looked like. Because I think people don't have that right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when I, I literally just graduated from college in 82. So I was there a year and I was watching these TV shows that we had on NYC TV. And we're like a secondary PBS station. So we, we had shows on the fire department, the, the, the police department, all these different things about the city. I was like, this is so boring. Who's watching this channel? And then one day I saw at the end of the show, it said public broadcasting. So I said, so this is supposed to be for the public. So how come we're not airing anything for the, the public that I live, where I live at in Brooklyn, you know, we would watch this channel if we put something on for us. And they were like, okay, we got a troublemaker here. I could see it in their face, but I wasn't trying to make trouble. I was just asking the question because I didn't know. I was, an, I was an engineer at the time and I didn't do production till that, to that point. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then, you know, the streets of New York were like hip hop, reggae, um uh house music starting to get a little thing going on and all of these different sounds the early 80s was like the birth of just like a whole bunch of stuff and you threw it on the wall and see what happened so you could go to a club you hear my might hear madonna you might hear michael jackson you might hear bob molly you might hear run dmc you know and and that was okay all in the same party you know and um and i said i want to bring all of these music all this music that i've been accumulating in my head all of these years, I want to put that on a show. Now, how am I going to do that? And one day, this these tapes came in, and they had the Whispers and all these kind of R&B groups, which was also existed at that time, too. And I said, oh, this would be cool on TV. People would want to see this. And the station was like, we don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, well, I just, I'll, I'll compile it. And we put a compilation together of what would be Video Music Box. And they said, OK. And um. And then they said, can you put it on every day? And I said, yeah, which I don't know. I, I, when I said it, I was like, I've never even done a program. I've never even produced a show before. And, and I didn't even have enough music videos to play for every day. I would have to repeat them over and over again. <laughs> but that was the beginning. And it was really by word of mouth, people started stumbling across this UHF channel, which back in the days, we only had 15, 16 channels. And you had to go to the U. Then you had to make sure the antenna was right with the with the with the uh, the, the the pliers, and then you had to move the, the antenna, and then get it right, oh. and then it came in clear. Or you might have to tell your little brother, your little sister, just hold the antenna, don't move, stay stand there, and and by word of mouth, people used to literally write, you know, because I at the end of the show it's like write us at one center street, da 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 da, mm -hmm. and all these letters started coming in. And people would just send me pages of requests that they wanted. Some things they weren't even music videos for. <laughs> and so they were enjoying the program. And and the station was like, okay, you know, let's continue this. And mm -hmm. you, you, can you do And then, you know, I started reaching out and getting more of the music videos. And, and kids ran home from school at 3.30 to watch Video Music Box. Because I think that people think that because the 80s was not so long ago that, you know, there was this sort of utopia, you know, but in 1983, and, and it's interesting because you have all of these shows that come along, uh, hot tracks, Friday night videos, um, David Bowie does that now iconic interview where he takes MTV to task about a lack of representation on television. And we think about it like Michael Jackson had really kind of kicked the door in late 1983 with thrillers. Right. So can you talk about some of that? Like just how, just how segregated that industry was at that time? Yeah, no, I mean, TV, you know, was basically Italian and Irish. 
So we, as African Americans and Latinos, that was a, uh, a renaissance for myself, Spike Lee, and others starting to get into this business. Thank you.